So this is my video on Rain-X. So you're probably wondering what it is, how it works, and if you should get it. So in this video, first of all, I'm going to do my review on it, what I think of it, how to apply it, and also test drive. So how does it work? Well, it produces a hydrophobic coating on the window. Hydrophobic, hydro water phobic hate, which means when water goes on, it beads up and runs off. So the idea is you put this on your windscreen, when it rains, the water will beads up on it, and then when you drive, then the wind resistance will actually blow the water off the windscreen, thus clearing the windscreen. Does it work? Yes. Over 40 miles per hour, I find. Uh, anything under 30, and the beads just tend to stay on the windscreen. Obviously, it depends what type of car you've got and the angles of the windscreen, how aerodynamic it is. I'd say for mine, I find under 30 doesn't really clear itself, so you're going to have to use windscreen wipers. Anything over 40, it begins to self-clean, and the faster you go, the faster it will self-clean. You can see all this in the test footage at the end of this video. So, would I use it again? For the windscreen, yes, I will keep using it. However, I did actually apply it for all other windows on the car, and I don't fully regret it, but I definitely won't be reapplying the coat, mainly because what happens is, as I say, when the water touch it, it beads up. So on a cold morning, that's beaded up on all the windows now, whereas before it didn't, which means you can't actually see out because there's so many tiny beads, which is annoying because then you either drive and can't see out of your side windows until you're going fast enough for it to start being blown off or you actually have to wipe the windows. So that's more of a nuisance. However, if it was just a standard window, then they'd be covered in water, it would be smeary, but at least you could still see through. Uh, same as the rear window on the back. Yes, you've still got a wiper, but the issue is as you're driving along, the, the spray off the road, if it's wet, the spray off the road goes on the window and forms these tiny beads, which means it then starts haze over quite quickly and you have to keep clearing the window. So uh, yes, I'd use it on the windscreen again, but the rest of the windows, I am gonna let it fade off. Something to note here, once you've actually applied it, it's very hard to get off, if not impossible, I'm gonna say, because uh, the idea is obviously it's, it hates water, so it's repelling water, so any chemicals you use and try and get off, it's just gonna repel them too. So here's a video of me actually applying it to the window. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure the windscreen is thoroughly clean. Because if it's damp at all, any impurities, it's going to make actually putting the rain eggs on very hard. So use a standard windscreen cleaner and some cloth and give it a very good clean. Get all the dirt off of it. That's it, I've just given the windscreen a really thorough clean. Two goes over with the spray. Now I'm gonna make sure it's nice and dry before I start putting the Rain-X on. So these two photos here, you can see the Rain-X was applied to a windscreen that wasn't fully dry. As you can see, it hasn't taken well at all. It's quite windy today, so it should be dry nice and quickly. So how I'm going to apply this, I'm just going to pour it on the top of the windscreen, let it run down and catch it and rub it in. Exactly the same as if you're cleaning the windows, so apply it in circles. As you can see, the liquid's much thinner than I first expected it. So now I'm just going to go around and rub little circles just keep keep rubbing it in so now what we're trying to do is get it into all the gaps make sure we go nice and close to the bottom try and keep it off the rubber though lots of little circles that's now been evenly applied to this side what I'll do I'll move on to the other so exactly the same again and pour it on the top let it run down a bit and give it a generous amount, there's no point being cautious, because the thing is, this will last a long time, so there's no point thinking, oh, don't use too much, I'll save it. If it's not applied properly, it's going to have quite poor results, and the worst thing you want is patches of it being really good and hydrophobic, 
and then the other patch is being not so good and not that hydrophobic which means when you're driving along and it's raining it's gonna be running off some bits but then as soon as it hits the the less hydrophobic sections it's then gonna stop dead and it'll be really noticeable right that's enough now i'm just gonna leave it to dry and form like a it's all like a, a waxy layer it doesn't take too long at all to dry so the side i initially done will be dry now and the other side is drying so what i'm going to use i'm going to use a sock to buff it off if you read the bottle it does say there's two ways to get it off you can either sprinkle water on and wipe it off or you can buff it off so what i'm going to do i'm going to do 50 50. i'm going to give it a bit of a buff but it'll take a long time to get it fully off so as i say i'm going to start give it a bit of a buff and then i'll wash it off so to buff it off exactly the same as before just circular motions It's not going to initial polish. I'm going to rinse the rest off with water. And that's it, it's done, it's finished. So you can see how quick the application was and how effective it is. You can see the water beading off straight away and if you haven't applied it properly this is where you'll notice it because the water will start catching in certain places so as you can see there the application wasn't that hard at all key thing to know make sure the windscreen is clean and dry before you actually apply it and then make sure the application is thorough and you've really worked in a small circles all over the place try not to miss any patches because then it will be really noticeable you can also obviously just apply over it again if you haven't done a very good job but you may as well do it right the first time uh, and then after that as you can see you can either buff it off or rinse it off so now here's some test footage bear in mind they do say use your windscreen wipers as normally and normally i do however for the purpose of this test i've actually turned the windscreen wipers off so you can see the self-cleaning properties unfortunately i can't give you a before and after treatment because the windscreen was actually already treated and i was just retreating it for this video so we're now driving as you can see just over 20 miles an hour and nothing's happening at all the water's just sitting there in perfect beads so if driving at this speed Coming up to now 30, driving at this speed you would need your wipers on, definitely. However now you can see we're hitting 30 and going a bit above it. You can see the water is beginning to self-clear. And now we're coming up to the 40 mark, you can see it's doing it even quicker. And now we're up to the 50. As you can see, it's doing it even quick. So again, for you, 20, still there, picking up the speeds. Now hit 40, and you can see it starts running. 50, it runs even quicker. And up to 60, even quicker still. So now we're traveling at 60. As you can see, the water is literally racing straight up the glass there. So at speeds like this, you don't need any windscreen wipers at all. As I say, it's still advised to use them, but you can see how good the coating is, that it's actually, the water is self repelling So as you can see, I'm now traveling at 50, and I can happily drive without using the windscreen wipers. I'll turn them on now, just so you can get the difference. They, uh, I put them on automatic mode, so then they'll wipe whenever they want. So once again, I'm now going at 25, turn the windscreen wipers off, now going 40, as you can see it starts self-cleaning, up to 50, now hits 60, 
you can see it's running up rather quickly. Now coming up to 70 mark. And that's it, we're now going 70. And as you can see, the rain is self clearing really, really quickly. So for speeds like this, you can see that you don't need to use the windscreen wipers at all. But do give it a go, there you go. You can see it, it, it helps it along. The application I've done has been done quite well. Like good enough to the extent that, as you can see, it's, it's self-cleaning. And even on the corners that you can't really see that well, it's racing off really quickly. As you can probably tell, I have actually got cruise control on and I'm just driving along at 70. Very happily here. Visibility-wise, I'm more than happy to keep driving without the wipers on at all. I can put them on and I'm not noticing much difference. It's a bit clearer every now and then, but generally there's not much difference. So as you can see, we're now back down to normal speeds. We're looking about 25 miles an hour, and it's not self-cleaning at all. It's all just gathering there, waiting for the quantity of rain to pick up. We're now rejoining the dual carriageway. As you can see, I'm now up to 40. It's beginning to self-clean. 50, it's doing it quicker. 60, quicker still. We now hit 70. As you can see from the speed I'm now going, it's happening really quickly. So quickly, in fact, that the, the raindrops are actually quite small. They don't have much chance to fully bead. There you go, as you can see, it is very effective. Anything over 40 miles per hour, under 30, however, you will still need the wiper. So some key things uh, some people might be very picky about with it is when you actually do the wiper, there's a very slight misting behind it of the tiny beads, and that takes maybe half a second to clear. So them claiming it gives you this second advantage for visibility, you actually lose about half a second of visibility. No, it's not a massive issue. It's just the very picky people will be able to notice it. Uh, those that aren't that picky, you're probably not going to notice it. However, one thing it does really help is, is actually cleaning the windscreen. So when, because of course all the dirt and everything just stays on the stop of its coating. So when you actually do the windscreen jets and the water sprays on the wipers go, it'll actually take off the dirt really quickly. So that's something I've noticed and really happy about. Excellent. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you found this video informative. Any questions? Leave them in the comments, and I will try and answer for you. Thank you.